Hello, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Hayes, the ASRM Education Specialist, and the following presentation is a review of our Ethics Committee opinion on interests, obligations, and rights in gamete and embryo donation. The use of sperm and egg donors in reproductive medicine, as well as the donation of embryos from individuals who themselves were enrolled in assisted reproduction, is now firmly established practice. As a result, Concerns regarding the ability to share information related to the genetic, health, and ancestral past histories of the donors have arisen. Less attention, however, has been given to the interest of the donors themselves, such as privacy, information about medical or genetic conditions discovered through screening or subsequent medical care if injuries occur as a result of donation, selection of recipients, knowledge of outcome from pregnancies resulting from their donated gametes and embryos, disclosure of adverse pregnancy outcome events, and contact or non-contact with individuals born as a result of their participation. The involved parties in gamete donation and embryo donation are the donors, the recipients or intended parents, the individuals born as a result of the donation, and the program providing services. These parties have distinct but, at times, competing interests. These interests may give rise to rights and corresponding obligations. The next few slides will define the involved parties. The term donor has been used conventionally for decades to describe an individual who provides gametes, eggs or sperm, that have been manipulated outside the human body with the intent of producing a pregnancy in a recipient. Recipients are an individual or individuals who receive gametes or embryos manipulated outside the human body to produce a pregnancy. Offspring are born following the donation of gametes or embryos that were manipulated outside of the human body in order to produce pregnancy. A program provides gametes and embryos that were manipulated outside the human body to produce a pregnancy. Programs should inform gamete donors and individuals donating embryos as well as recipients of donor gametes and donated embryos, about potential legal, medical, and psychosocial issues involved in their donation. Programs, donors, and recipients that they may be screened for specific infectious diseases and other health-related risk factors, including genetic testing, and provide them with the results of such testing, inform them of the significance of any medical conditions that are discovered, offer donors and recipients referral if further counseling or medical care is warranted, and to keep current and update ongoing medical records and sharing of pertinent health information. Donors should be given clear notice that although they may withdraw from the donation process at any point, they no longer have dispositional control over their donated gametes or embryos once procured unless a valid contract between the parties provides otherwise. Individually informed that donating gametes or embryos does not give them legal rights or duties to rear any resulting children. Recipients should be informed that upon procurement of gametes or embryos, they assume legal rights and duties over the gametes, embryos, and any resulting children produced from the donation. Also, offspring born as a result of donation presumably share an interest in being healthy and knowing health risks. Programs should consider that donors may have interests in learning the outcome of their donation, including whether any children have resulted from their participation. Programs should clearly inform donors and recipients before initiating care what, if any, information will be shared. This preference should be documented. Programs should caution participants that policies related to information sharing are not guaranteed since laws or individual circumstances change, and that there is a possibility they may be contacted by offspring in the future. Similarly, maintaining anonymity of parties cannot be guaranteed since commercially available genetic testing and agencies that allow dissemination of identifying information through social media increases the risk of inadvertent disclosure of participants. Programs are strongly encouraged to develop and make available written policies setting out the mechanisms for collecting medical updates from donors and recipients, and if applicable, for making available or distributing newly acquired medical information to individuals whose health may be impacted by this information. Donors, recipients, and programs must recognize that they have a unique and ongoing moral relationship with each other, and this obligation does not end with the procurement of gametes or the donation of embryos. 
Evolving medical technology, laws, and social standards will likely require reevaluation of these relationships throughout the lifetimes of the parties involved. In summary, traditional practices of anonymity in gamete and embryo donation are slowly changing as views about the interests and rights of individuals to know the identity of their gamete and embryo donors are becoming more prevalent. Genetic testing, commercial platforms, the internet, and social media provide offspring opportunities to discover the identity of genetic donors. There is a need for a call to re-examine the consent process and new attention to the landscape of ethical responsibilities as well as the rights and obligations of involved parties to one another. Finally, the donors and recipients have an obligation to authorize disclosure of medical information whether or not identifying in nature.